Okay, guys, uh, another big deal coming from the U.S. government to secure doses of a potential COVID-19 vaccine under Operation Warp Speed. This one to Sanofi and GlaxoSmithKline, which are partnered on a project. Uh, they are going to be paying $2.1 billion to these two companies to secure 100 million doses of their COVID-19 vaccine uh, if it is successful. Now, that $2.1 billion, half of that, more than half, they say, will support the development of the vaccine, including clinical trials. Uh, the remainder will be used for manufacturing scale-up and that delivery of the initial 100 million doses. Sanofi is going to receive the majority of this funding. Uh, and the government does say it has a further option for the supply of an additional 500 million doses longer term. Uh, now, guys, this is just the latest. But, of course, we just saw a similar deal for Pfizer's uh, vaccine, a $1.95 billion for uh, 100 million doses of Pfizer's vaccine if it's successful. So this is sort of furthering uh, securing these doses. Uh, they say they plan to start human, cl uh, human clinical trials uh, in September, uh, followed by a phase three study by the end of 2020. So they are a bit behind uh, the front runners in this race, but quite a large uh, deal here. This is the most we've seen yet from Operation Warp Speed, guys. Back over to you. Quite a large deal, but as you said, uh, reminding us of, of the recent Pfizer one, uh, this is, doesn't come with any fresh news on their vaccine development and, and the vaccine trial. That's right. The timing is what we've heard from these two companies already. And it's a really interesting deal, Wilf, because that almost $2 billion for Pfizer was all for the vaccine, whereas this about $2 billion, half of it supports development, and then the rest would go toward uh, securing those doses.